I just want to tell you about the shittiest Airbnb experience I've ever had in my entire life. That's fine. We're in a, we're in a bit of a rush. Uh, we just need to know what rooms we're in and can we shower? So last year, my buddy Tom calls me up and he's like, yo, I'm performing comedy at a wedding. I want you to come film me. All expenses paid. All you got to do is show up at the train station the day of. Um, in. As soon as we get to Toronto, we bust down to our Airbnb. And as soon as we get there, we're just thinking, ooh, this looks jank. There's no instructions on how to get into the Airbnb. So we're just like, yo, let's just open up the door. What's the worst thing that could happen? We open up the door and there's just this old woman staring at us. What are you guys doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're just here for the, we're just here for the Airbnb. She grunts and walks away. Oh, walks away. <laughs> Tom decides to call the host and he rambles on for like 15 minutes. He's like, don't worry, I'll be right there. Okay. We, we, we're in a rush. We're in a rush rush. Can you tell us our rooms at least? Which rooms we have? An old man with terrible teeth walks up towards us. And he's like, I'm sorry guys, but I do not have a room for you here tonight. But don't worry. I have a place 15 minutes down the road. You guys can stay there. What the fuck? What time do you guys need the beds for? He asks. Uh, 11? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to build the beds by then. What? What are you talking about, man? Just give us the spa we rented from you. We say, fuck this ramshackle, crooked teeth, no orthodontist, Ikea bed building, GTA landlord. Just give us our refund, and we headed straight to the venue. Change there, no showers, no big deal. Say la vie, you know what I mean? What are the lessons learned? Uh, Airbnb is not the same as a hotel. Like, far not the same. Not the same, not the same. Different. Disgusting, really. That was disgusting. The rooms? God, it was like... After Tom completely crushes his set at the wedding... Everybody shut the hell up! I don't know why you're still talking. None of you have anything interesting to say. I've been chatting with you guys all night. Yo, I called us a cab, jump in, and we'll book a hotel on the way. He's completely hammered at this point, but he says, don't worry. Shit really good at shit like that. Hey, great. Can I have uh, two rooms tonight, please? We are fully booked, sir. Hmm. Okay. Is there anybody place around you that has rooms? Oh, I have no idea, sir. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. After we got embarrassingly rejected from that hotel, <laughs> we ended up booking this beautiful spot at the Ace Hotel. It had everything you could possibly want for a single night stay. Dude, I love hotels so much. You know exactly what you're gonna get every single time. The caveat to all of this, this is the cheapest spot I've ever rented on Airbnb. And the net, like a month later, we had this $1.8 million spot having the best time of our lives. But I'm just curious, like, has this ever happened to you? Have you ever had these nightmare Airbnb experiences? Is it even worth trying to save a couple hundred bucks? Just Are you just better booking a hotel for a night? Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Airbnb is, is slowly but surely eroding the uh, financial and moral fabric that is barely clinging our society together. <laughs>